Hi, my name is Eugenia and I'm a math tutor. Today we're going to talk about dot plots and line plots. For the most part, when someone talks about a dot plot or a line plot, they're actually talking about the same thing. They mean a graph that has one axis on a number line and dots above each mark on the number line. For example, maybe this graph has 11, 12, 13, and 14, and these are the ages of the girls on a swim team. What this graph tells us is that there are two girls that are 11 years old because there's two dots here, three girls that are 12 years old, four girls that are 13 years old, and two girls that are 14 years old. This kind of graph is very useful for small amounts of data, and it can be referred to as a line plot or a dot plot. However, there is another kind of plot that is also referred to, to as a dot plot sometimes. In this kind of plot, we have two axes. So instead of placing a dot for each girl, we would only place one dot to represent the number of girls of that same age. So this axis will still be their ages, but this axis will now represent the number of girls. Since we have two 11-year-olds, we would go ahead and find the 11 and then go up to the 2 and put one dot there. Three 12-year-olds gives us one dot above the 12 and across from the 3. Then we have four 13-year-olds and two 14-year-olds. As you can see, the shape of the graph is about the same, but this kind of graph with two axes is much easier to draw when you have a lot of information, since you don't have to draw a dot for each point. So that's the difference between what is called traditionally a line plot and a dot plot. Thanks for watching.